But let's just say the other thing is that the patient is again expecting a certain test. What we can do, and this comes from Dr. Malik Parker, who is part of the Modern Rehab Mastery Cohort, um, the very first one. He found that from a particular referral source, all of his low back patients were expecting that their hips were out of place and they always had a supine and long sit test done by that referral source. Um, but for some reason they couldn't bother to be corrected. They would just say like, oh yeah, this, you have a posterior rotated ilium on the right, go to this guy to have it corrected. Um, so what he would do is in, instead of just trying to, you know, totally uh, flip their world upside down, he would actually do that test. But instead of doing a muscle energy technique uh, or a manipulation or an adjustment to correct the pelvic position, he would do the test, then do repeated motions and then retest something functional and also then retest the pathoanatomical test, the supine and longsit test. And most of the time they felt better, they moved better, and now the test was normal without him touching their pelvis. So then he would ask the question, what do you think just happened there, right? So again, what all you would do is kind of replicate that test, feed into their expectation Okay, so this leg's a little longer, and now go ahead and sit up. And then it got a little longer, this one got shorter, who knows what. Um, then I would have Dana do repeated side glides, so you can go, go ahead and... I'll just be your wall. Okay, so I want you to push your hips this way, with this hand. Good. As far as you can go, as far as you can go, good. Go ahead and just stack your shoulders a little bit higher. And we'll do about 10 reps. Go as far as you can, as far as you can, as far as you can. Okay, on your back. So then we replicate the test. Again, assuming she also had some sort of functional problem, like she couldn't squat, she couldn't bend, she couldn't sit without pain. Then go ahead and sit up. Now it's even, <laughs> and she feels better. So I thought that was a very good way for, if you have a patient who's expecting a certain type of pathoanatomical test, or expecting that their hips are out of place and they've had that test done to them over and over and over again, and have a specific passive treatment like a manipulation or an adjustment, if you can give them a way to put themselves back into place, like what's it, I would say, what's it matter if you go into place or not, if you feel better, move better, and now this test is normal. Were you really in and out of place? Whether or not you believe it, do you wanna keep paying me or someone else forever or you just wanna do this self-treatment?